So in question 1139, we're going to look at parts A through C. Again, this is predict the major product of the reaction. So our strategy is going to be to classify what the starting material is. So here we're starting with a primary alcohol. We're treating that with thionyl chloride in the presence of pyridine. So thionyl chloride has this structure. And pyridine is an aromatic base. So it is a benzene ring that contains a nitrogen atom. There's the lone pair of electrons. So we need to recognize that thionyl chloride will transform an alcohol into a chloride. Here's where the chloride comes from. The byproducts of this will be a protonated pyridine called pyridinium hydrochloride and sulfur dioxide gas. In part B, we're taking a primary alcohol again. We're treating that with a strong acid, hydrogen bromide. This is going to transform the alcohol into the bromide. So our byproduct from this will be water. So remember that the hydroxyl group is a poor leaving group. So this occurs via the mechanism of protonation of that hydroxyl group in the first step. So we've made the hydroxyl group, which is a poor leaving group, into a protonated hydroxyl group, which is a good leaving group. And this will occur through an SN2 displacement, giving water as the byproduct. In part C, again, we're taking a primary alcohol. This case, we're treating it with sodium amide. So let's draw out the Lewis dot structure for that amide portion. So if we fill in the remainder of the electrons, we're going to see that nitrogen has two lone pairs. And if you do a formal charge analysis of that nitrogen, it's going to have a negative formal charge. So we notice this compound is neutral. So if we have a negative charge, the sodium has to be a cation with a positive charge. In this case, we know that hydroxide is a poor leaving group. So the amide is not going to displace the hydroxide. What actually happens in this case, this will act as a strong base. We're going to deprotonate that hydrogen, break the oxygen-hydrogen bond, and end up with an alkoxide. So the negative charge is now on oxygen. Sodium is going to be our counter ion in both cases. And our byproduct of the reaction is ammonia. Ammonia is a gas, and that will leave the flask.